Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my boxy charm unboxing and I don't have makeup on because I'm gonna try on the products and here let's go right in. So I know what's in here already. And the um what's it called? The topic is vacation, which I think is super cute. I love this. And I love tropical spring. And that's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Anyways, so we have quite a few cool things in here this month. But the first thing we're going to try out is the South Main Eye Gel Packs. Well, eye gel little masks. Um, I tried one already. I like them, kind of. They're alright. But I'm going to do a second one. So... You can see how that works out. That's what they look like. That's what the little pack is. And then it says, thoroughly cleans uh, under eye area and apply product under the eye. Leave for 30 minutes to reduce puffiness, darks, and dark circles. Okay, let's see. They come out in a little thing like this. Where I've like wet my pants now. So they're. It has a rose scent to them. So there's two sides to this. There's like a more cupped side on like this side of the jelly. And then the other side is more on like the outside cup part. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip them over and get the juices all on the other side. So I can get the most out of these. So there's like a little more of a cup side on this side where it like will probably suction better on your side to hold on to the eye or onto the skin technically it holds on to the skin and you put them right under they're nice and cool feeling they smell like roses but it's not like overpowering you don't want to get them too close to your lash line because it's kind of uncomfortable and it can irritate your eyes. Okay, so that's what they look like. Um, I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Okay, we're back. So I've had them on probably under 30 minutes, but I'm, I'm getting impatient, so I gotta take them off. Okay, so I'm just gonna take them off. How should I do it? This way, this way. Ooh, look at that. I'm shiny. Okay, so these feel really cooling on your eyes, like, as they sit there. They're nice and cool feeling. Um, I kept, like, patting it to bring stimulation to the eyes so we can get some blood flowing and it can absorb a little better. Um, you could definitely do that, you know, when you have, like, a sheet mask and stuff to make it absorb a little better definitely but i really like it so i'm gonna do my face base makeup and brows and i'll be back to do the rest okay so i'm back i did my foundation concealer brows and bronzer and i powdered my face so the next thing in the box is these super cute brushes they are from vintage cosmetics and they're a smoky eye brush set. So, let's get these cute little brushes out. Ooh. They are very cute. They're like a vanilla color. And then they have little steps on them. So, step one, go for the money. Two is for the shadow. And three is go, go, girl. So, this is step one step two and then step three and they look really cute let's see how they work so then this can also we can use it with our little boxy charm and pure palette which is super cute and that's what it looks like i love these colors man they're like the perfect colors Okay, so I put concealer and powder on top, so I really don't really need to use a, like, translucent, but I will anyways, just to use as many colors. 
So I'm going to go in with Perfect, which is the first shade in here. I'm going to go in with Nike, which is this one right here. Nike reminds me of Rugrats. And I'm going to buff that into the crease. It's a really orangey color. Pretty nice. There is a bit of fallout. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see. Not too much. I mean, yeah, it's a bit. But, you know, you can work with it. And you could pick up, like, the fallout from your brush. Instead of dipping your brush back in the pan so you don't waste product. Cool. Okay. Hi, boy! So, I was rudely interrupted by... Some tacos. So, bon appetit. Okay, I'm back. So, those tacos are super good. You should go get yourself some tacos. Okay, back to this eye look. Alright, so back with my palette. I'm gonna see what else. So, I got the orange down, and maybe I should intensify that more. But with what? Should I go in with that one? Make it pinkier? Hmm. Bell is the name of that one. Just add more color. I guess it doesn't really do much. I guess I can just uh, intensify my orange with more orange. Just really pack that on the outer corner. Yep, I think that's what I need to do. Oh girl. Okay. So I love the combo of like orange and pink. But I don't know if I want to go with pink. Or should I do like, because everyone's been doing pink. They've been using this palette and going straight for the pink. But do I want to use the pink as well? Hmm. Or should I go in with brown, orange, and blue? That would be cute. I haven't seen no one do that. I think I'm going to go with that. But blue is stunning. I'd, I'd buy this palette just for these two, to be honest. I do want to... I might put that on the bottom. Yeah, we could do pink on the bottom. Because I really just like this palette for those colors. Those two colors right there. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll go in with a little brown. I'm going to get a smaller, denser brush. Okay, here we go. Cool. I shouldn't be drinking Coke, but I am. Because it's in my refrigerator and... Okay, now let's go with this brown. I feel like this brown might be a little too dark. Then again, is it even brown? Is it like, it looks kind of red. In a way, like a dark brownish red undertone with like red sparkles. I think that's what it looks like. Let's hope the sparkles don't throw off this look. I'm just going to go in lightly. The name of this is du Duet. Duet, I think it's Duet. And then tap off like extra. And we're gonna place right here. I'm gonna lightly pat it on. It's really pigmented though, but using a color like this, I feel like I'm using almost black. And there's a black in here, so. We're a little better now, yeah. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna go on and do the blue, and then we can do the other eye off of camera, so we don't waste so much time. So I'm gonna go in with this brush, 
for the money. And let's see. I don't know why I have another. Okay, so I'm going to go in with for, for the money or step one brush with the color Mia. That beautiful blue color in there. And let's see how this looks. Is it Mia or is it MIA because they're based in Miami? Hmm. If anyone knows, you should tell me down below. Okay, I really want this color to be super vibrant. And that's not really giving it to me with the brush. But usually colors like this don't. I mean, I can just smoothen out the color edges, but if you wet it or you use your finger, it'd probably be a lot better. So let's do that. Right, now my eyeshadow is wet. Oh look, it goes on just like paint. That's what you want. Wow. With this, I'm blend this edge out. Okay, so before I move on, I think I'm just going to finish up this eye. And we'll keep going. Okay, so. Now that we have this little problem here. Usually what I do is. So I can use a brush like this. A fluffy big brush like this and my powder, right? And just dip it in my powder, right? But you don't need too much. But like a decent amount, so like we can dust this off. So just dust it off. Cause if you go in with your hand, then you will just press that pigment into your skin and then you'd have to do your foundation all over again and it's just a big mess and then you look crazy and it's just really bad so then we're just gonna do pink down here which is BFF And then I'm going to go in with the other side of this brush and blend it with Belle, the lighter pinkier orange color. I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the black. Just a little bit though and just down right here. Just so we can get it a little more. A little darker. Just like that. There. And then I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished up the eyes and threw some like wing liner on. And there's a mascara in the box. So we're going to use that. And the mascara in the box is the Double Decker by Butter London. It claims to say 200% thicker lashes and 314 increase in lash curl. Now, I don't have much of a lash curl and my lashes aren't very long. That's my problem. So, this is, I've used it already and it was a little dry so I didn't put much on my eyes, but this time I guess I'll put more so we can see really how it works. So it's cute, huge tube, and that's the brush for it. So now we're a little closer so you can see how it goes on. 
when I first put it on, it seemed a little dry. Um, I mean, it does give pretty good volume. I don't know if you could see my stubby little lashes, though. I need, like, mascara with wings. Mm, the bottom lashes. Okay, so that's with mascara, and this is without mascara. I mean, that, you can't really tell from the top lashes, but the bottom lashes look pretty good. I do see volume, a pretty decent amount of volume. It kind of reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced from the volume. I don't think there's much of a curl. I think the curl from the ones that don't have mascara and the ones that do are the same. I wouldn't say there's much of a curl. There's no length to this mascara either. You could tell because I have no length and you could barely see them. So I would have to use a mascara with length to lengthen my, my lashes. But, I mean, it's alright. If you really are looking for volume... I say it's a pretty good mascara for volume. Uh, I'm gonna do the other eye and we'll get back to our last item in the box. Okay, so I did the mascara on the other eye. As I was putting the mascara on the other eye, I found a little bit of an irritation. Kind of like if there's too much perfume in something, my eyes will feel like Spiky is the best way I can describe it where it's kind of irritated like an allergy So I don't know Hopefully the feeling will go away soon It's it's not really like oh my god. I need to take this off or anything, but I do feel it and it's kind of annoying uh, I mean it hopefully it goes away. Hopefully it's not a big problem. I don't know Okay, so the next thing or the last thing in the box actually is the pretty vulgar blush in like a super hot pink i love this packaging so cute and this is prime vixen and i'm going to go in if i could open it so i have this super cute fan brush and i'm gonna go in using a fan brush and i got this off this little trick from Jaclyn Hill that she got from Lipstick Nick. That's pretty pigmented. Let's hope it's not that pigmented. I hate pigmented blushes. I want pigment where you can, where it's a flush of color, not where it's like this on my cheek, because that's gonna look crazy. But I'm trying to get as much on the brush, like cover the brush, and then just lightly place it on my cheeks. Anymore. There's pigment for sure, and this is a light brush. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pigment on this. I, like I said, I don't like too much pigment because sometimes it can be hard to get your, you know, your desired look on your cheeks like you could get too much and carry it away so after that I'm gonna use my blush brush my other blush brush there's a bit of blush in here but that's okay I'm just gonna blend that out so it's not overpowering we just want a flush of color not looking like a clown so that's the blush I really like it I like the color definitely up my alley it goes with this beautiful eye look and let me throw some lipstick on because we didn't get lipstick in our box I'm going with my Too Faced metal melted metal color just so you have some color yep that's cute nice and natural okay guys so thanks for watching my boxy charm and I will see you in my next video. I'm doing a little haul, kind of a birthday haul. 
and I got some cool products in there, so definitely check that out, and I'll see you guys next time.